Cancer Australia's statement, Influencing Best Practice in Breast Cancer, provides the evidence to support effective patient-centred cancer care and improve cancer outcomes. The statement is based on the best available evidence supported by expert clinical and consumer advice. My diagnosis of early breast cancer was shocking news. I just wanted to get the surgery done as quickly as possible and get that tumour out of there. That's understandable, but sometimes there may be benefit to having other therapies before surgery. The evidence shows that in some patients with early breast cancer and specific tumour receptor types, giving them chemotherapy or hormonal therapy before surgery also called new adjuvant therapy, has a number of benefits. These benefits include potentially reducing the size of a large tumor so that it can be removed with breast-conserving surgery rather than mastectomy. It also allows us early on to see how patients respond to treatment so that we can stop or change therapy if necessary. Delaying surgery to have neoadjuvant therapy has no negative impact in terms of overall survival or disease progression. In my case, the multidisciplinary team recommended neoadjuvant therapy. This shrank the tumour and allowed me the option of breast conserving surgery. But some patients may be missing out on the potential benefits of this approach. Which is why it's appropriate to consider the use of preoperative or neoadjuvant chemotherapy or hormonal therapy informed by hormone and HER2 receptor status in all patients where the use of these therapies are clinically indicated. For more information on the Cancer Australia statement and key appropriate and not appropriate breast cancer practices, visit canceraustralia.gov.au.